Hi, welcome to Ikemi Gaming. Today we're going to start Flagger's Follies. I hope you enjoy our video. Come and see how it looks. Ah, there you are. Welcome to sunny Florida. I hope the journey was pleasant. Unfortunately, it can't have been very fast because any significant rail network yet remains to be built. Our client for this assignment is Henry Flagler. He's one of the founders of Standard Oil and works closely with a certain John D. Rockefeller. Here in Florida, however, he sees great potential in tourism and has already written down some tasks for us. All right, so here we are, scenario number three, and we're looking at our three things we have to do. For June of 1906, we have to have 10,000 citizens in Miami. And then we also need seven different goods available in Jacksonville at the same time. And we need 120,000 citizens in North Florida, which includes Jacksonville, Pensacola, and Tallahassee. So the first thing I did is I bought South Florida for 150. And we'll go ahead and buy Georgia here. All right, so now we're going to lay our three stations right here. So we'll put our express station on this side of Jacksonville. We'll go into Tallahassee, put it underneath, put it there, and Pensacola will also put it underneath. Just get the right layout here. We have our express train laid down from Jackson, Tallahassee, or tracks, I guess I should say, not the express train itself. And we're going to put Pensacola's down here in the southern part of the city. And we'll go ahead and build some tracks over to Tallahassee. There we go. We'll double that up. Oops. The other way. There we go. Put a supply station in the middle. Put our tracks over here. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and put, and we also put a maintenance station in the middle, I should say. So we're going to go ahead and put, let's see what's the fastest one, Flying Scotsman. Well, we have to go down the Pacific is 135, Flying Scotsman is 197. Okay, that's kind of a no-brainer then. Put that on express, put all our three trains on, boom. So we have that going. Now, i seen there's a bonus in Atlanta, so we're coming up to Augusta. We'll put a station there, and we'll hook this up. So we have Augusta down and lined up, so now we can put in our Atlanta okay, station. so we just finished our Jacksonville to Augusta to Atlanta to Augusta back to Jacksonville three line, and we got our trains on that. We'll click OK. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this Alabama. That way I can go Pensacola to Montgomery to Atlanta and have a nice circle here. So we'll go ahead and put our train station on the outside, our express station. We just finished Pensacola to Montgomery to Atlanta to Montgomery and back. So we'll put our two trains on there and that'll give us a nice little circle. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go Tampa and Miami. See if we can get there in time to claim the bonuses in those cities. Just down here in Tampa, we're going to throw down a station here on the outside of the city. For now, we're going to do Tampa to Jacksonville. We'll put one train on it. And it'll go back and forth till we get our next station down here in Miami. Now, I don't want to miss out on the bonus for Miami, so I'm going to do something a little different and put its own train from Tampa to Miami. So it's just going to be one train on that line. I did double up the line from Jacksonville to Tampa. As soon as I get the connection bonus to Miami, I'll double this line and then make it the usual three stations. Okay, now that we have all our express trains running, although we'll add a third and fourth and fifth train later to those, we're going to lay down a warehouse right here. So it's going to be Florida North Warehouse. So the first thing we did was build our Florida North Warehouse, and we have a line going into Jackson to a freight station. So we have our train on that. We put a mountain on it. We decided to just stick with a freight straight up train. So we'll do that. Now we have a train going to Tallahassee. 
from Florida North. We're just going to put it in at the express station for now. I'm not totally sure which side of the express I want to put my freight station at. So we laid down a very long track down to Miami so we can bring in the wood and the wheat to help spur Miami's growth. So we'll go ahead and lay that down. Okay, so we're just trying to build something on the cheap here. So we went from Pensacola Express. So I'm also not sure where I'm going to put things over there. All the way under Tallahassee to the Florida North Warehouse. And we're bringing in meat that we eventually kick down to Miami is what the point is. Okay, well we'll wait for Miami to get kickstarted. We're going to start putting in restaurants and market halls. So that way we can start making more money on our express trains. So we'll start with Jacksonville and we're just going to go around the circle doing all that. Okay, because Pensacola is the closest meet I have, I'm going to put my freight station up there. Then I'm going to put another freight station here to bring in my cattle in the Pensacola. That should help with things tremendously. Okay, so I bumped up all my express trains to three, and this is the last set here. So now they're all sitting at three instead of two. Okay, we started to rearrange things. So we moved our Tallahassee freight to this freight station north, so there's nothing going in the express anymore. We also got this corn going in. the piggybacking on this part of the same line together. We'll put two trains on that. So we did some major rearranging here. On the south end, we put the line down to Miami totally separate. We doubled it up and we built Miami's own freight line here. Then we also put Wee Terminal in here. We bought the sugar. So we're going to put in three trains going into our warehouse. We did some more moving around here. We built an Alabama, Atlanta sorry, cloth export station bringing down the Tallahassee, I'm going to make it the manufactured warehouse and it will kick goods over to, to Jacksonville and then over to Pensacola and then maybe down to Miami to help it grow. Alright, so we have our West Train Station here with our milk which we purchased and we're bringing that into our Florida North warehouse. Alright, so I noticed we're doing a lot of income on this train line so we're going to bump it from three trains up to five. We're going to go ahead and bump up three trains up to five on our Miami run as well. We're going to bump up our Pensacola to five trains as well. And we're going to go ahead and bump up Pensacola, Montgomery, Atlanta to five trains. Mr. Flagler will be pleased. His fascination with the Sunshine State began nearby in St. Augustine, where he recently opened his first hotel. Keep up the pace and we'll have a very happy client in no time. So we bought these vegetables here. So we're going to hook up it to our warehouse. I'm not sure if we can buy the coal. Sure, we'll go ahead and buy the coal too. And our Johnson train station, we bought the fruit. So we have it all set up with our three trains. All right, so while we're waiting for our other tasks to be accomplished, we're going to go ahead and build a warehouse system here at the bottom. And we'll flip this around, I'd say, like this. And this will serve Miami, Key West eventually, and Tampa. All right, we just put a train from Florida South Warehouse to Miami, bringing in our sugar and our corn, which we have, we also own that, by the way. And then we bought this grain, and we're bringing it in right now to the warehouse. So now we'll have grain, corn, and sugar all coming into Miami the minute our train from Pensacola shows up with our meat. So we came up here to where our only wood is in this general area, and we ran a line all the way down to our warehouse with our wood. So now we're going to have corn, sugar, wheat, and wood. So that'll get us up to when we need milk, which I think is 30,000, something like that. So Miami finally is now fully settled with a population of just under a thousand. So we're going to go ahead and put a meat plant in here because that's what's needed at the moment. They need meat. Tampa's got alcohol and then Key West. Well, we'll see what we do there. But So we have a cattle ranch here that we should buy. We'll go ahead and buy that. And now we'll throw down... 
we'll throw down the station there make sure actually yeah there's now that I think about it there's maintenance at the main station so we'll go ahead and put that there we'll build a line here and then this way here we'll be able to bring in cattle so we'll go ahead and put a train from race station to Miami and now we should be good for making uh, meat. Normally I try to avoid using the settler bonus, but for the sake of time, because we only have till June, I'm gonna go ahead and pay this. So in order to keep the party going here, we built a freight station in Tampa that's coming onto our existing track, coming over to Miami Freight, and they're gonna switch alcohol and meat back and forth. Unfortunately, Atlanta is still our only cloth supplier. So I'm literally going to bring it all the way into Miami here to try to grow Miami as quick as possible. And then eventually Miami will kick some cloth back over to Tampa when I make Miami have a little mini warehouse there for manufactured goods. Okay, so we did a line up here to Tampa. And so now we have our warehouse is going to start supplying Tampa with goods with our two trains there. So I notice up here in Tallahassee that there's a spot open for a factory. So we're going to go ahead and put a clothing factory in there. I figure we should probably go ahead and buy South Carolina, so we'll do that. And then we'll put an express line down to Charleston and maybe bring it to Jacksonville, I think. We now have our Charleston to Jacksonville express line down. We're going to throw two trains for now and see, actually let's go three, and then see how it goes. So I see Jacksonville opened up another industry slot. We're going to go ahead and put a sawmill down. Do not underestimate how important the completion of this interim goal has been. It proves that we are on the right track with our methods. Nice, we got 120,000 citizens. So we just need to bump up Miami to 10,000. We have 5,200. One of the problems with Miami is I need cloth. And the problem is up here in Atlanta, I can't, oh, I can now. Okay, perfect. As soon as we get up to 400 and some thousand, we'll go ahead and bump this up then that should help with Miami also. At the same time, we're building a warehouse system here. We have our grain, which we bought, corn, which we do not own, and then we have our salt, which we don't need yet, and then our sugar, which we own coming in. So it's just a matter of putting our second train over here, and we'll put that there, get our wood going, all right, we'll put, okay, that's actually in a good spot. We'll put a train here, and we'll put two of them on it. Put a mountain, and that should help help bring in wood to Atlanta and help Atlanta grow even more. As we wait for Miami to grow, we're still working on a Georgia warehouse. Right now we have all our main goods in there so now we're gonna put our two trains over to Augusta so now we have a line between Atlanta Freight and Augusta Freight we're gonna make Augusta our manufactured warehouse hub and now we have our freight station up in Charleston and so it's gonna start taking deliveries from our Georgia warehouse and now we have our last train for this setup for now anyways is our Augusta Freight that's eventually going to bring in meat for now it'll bring in cloth to Charleston and Charleston may or may not send alcohol back so our closest meat that made sense is Montgomery over here so we're going to bring Montgomery into Augusta so it can deliver meat so we got two trains doing that so now we hooked up the Kelly terminal to bring in our cattle so Montgomery should have no problem making meat now just for fun we're gonna throw a four city on this usually I don't do that but I'm gonna try this see if it works throw Montgomery on with two trains and see if I can keep okay up. so now we have Georgia gonna bring over our warehouse gonna bring over stuff to Montgomery to help it grow so we'll go ahead and put two trains on that I don't know what mr. Flagler actually sees in this insignificant settlement of Miami but it's well on its way to being an insignificant town now anyway. So far, so good. But that was only the first stage. 
Mr. Flagler has even more plans for us. Good news. You'll love our next gold. Mr. Flagler wants to connect the Florida Keys. He calls it the Key West Extension. But in the press, it's simply called Flagler's Folly. I would say that if we approach this correctly, it can definitely work. Mr. Flagler has already had some outlandish suggestions for the implementation. But we, of course, don't have to adhere to everything he says. Okay, so we accomplished Miami the 10,000. It's just slightly over. And that wraps us up for this section of our video. If you liked uh, this video, like, comment, subscribe, and come back and watch the next part of Scenario 3 Flagler's Follies.